<laughs> and shout out for self talk. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? In today's video, I want to highlight Kwame Brown's comments talking about Steven Jackson, man. Kwame Brown had called Steven Jackson out for hating on the Shannon Sharp Cat Williams interview. I did a video yesterday highlighting Shannon Sharp responding to Steven Jackson. But just in case if you guys have missed that, I want to re-highlight that clip because it's going to put everything into context in today's video. So with that being said, guys, let's highlight Shannon Sharp responding to Steven Jackson. Here's the video. All right, all these little catchy phrases on your little page, and mm -hmm. it's you. You write, you, all you're doing is writing a memoir to yourself. Come on, guy. Come on, preacher. But you think, you th hey, look at this. I got this out the mud. I came from the trenches. Right. And you got more hate in your heart with all that you got, that you've yeah. been blessed with so much, and all you do is hate on a man that mm -hmm. you think better. How about get better? Create better content. Mm. Right. And what's disappointing to me, because there are people that that do what you and I do, yeah. that had so much to say. And and it's only because of jealousy. Because I guarantee you, if, if, if Kat was on their podcast mm -hmm. and did exactly what he did on my podcast, right. they would have never said, what they're saying mm. oh he let no that was the decision that i had to make in a split second ocho right right and right. what i always try to do is not talk over the guests they mm. come okay tell your side tell your story tell it right. without me interrupting and i know a guy that he got so much he always has something to say right now this is the same guy you know what i ain't gonna even no look here you gonna let it go you ain't gonna, I'm say gonna let it go Okay, that's what Shannon Sharp had to say in response to Steven Jackson comments. And just in case if you missed Steven Jackson comments, I will be highlighting that later in today's video. But I just want to show you guys what Shannon Sharp had to say. And as you can see, man, Shannon Sharp, he was really heated about people just hating on his interview with Cat Williams for absolutely no reason at all. Because if those same people were to interview Cat Williams and have an interview that go viral, that's now over 40 million views, do you think that these guys will honestly have something to say negative about their own Cat Williams interview. Absolutely not. And I highlight what Kwame Brown had to say about the topic as well. But I would like to have my moderator take over the rest of this video because she had did the edits for the rest of this video, guys. So salute. I appreciate your time, man. Self-talk out. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Let's continue with the rest of this video. Hi everyone, this is AK Reports here representing Self Talk, your go-to channel for viral sports and hip hop news. If you're new here, please make sure that you don't forget to hit the like button on this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel if you're not subscribed already and make sure that you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from this channel. Today, I want to highlight Kwame Brown calling out Steven Jackson's criticism of Shannon Sharp's interview with Cat Williams. As you all may know, Shannon Sharp's interview has currently viral with over 40 million views views on his Club Shay Shay channel. This has been covered extensively on this channel so please make sure that you check out those videos to bring yourself up to speed on the responses from the interview. Steven Jackson however gave his opinion on the interview and was highly critical of Shannon Sharp and his interview style. He spoke his mind. Everybody should speak their mind. That's just what it is. I wouldn't let him I wouldn't let him go hard as he did on a lot of people on our show. I just wouldn't because we got relations with him. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. You don't have a show, so you wouldn't know what you would do. We've done millions, we've done hundreds of shows. So we know how to handle that type of shit. Whole world talking about the cat interview. The whole world. Everybody giving their opinions. But I can't speak on it because I'm so live. It ain't got nothing to do with you. We're going everybody else paid to tell them that too. Then. Now, Kwame Brown and Steven Jackson do have history as former teammates having played together on the Charlotte Bobcats team. However, Kwame has never shied away from holding Stack accountable when he disagrees with him. In 2021, Kwame also went viral for his response to Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson for their comments towards him on their All The Smoke podcast. Regarding Steven Jackson's criticism of Shannon Sharp's interview, Kwame very much disagrees with him and believes that Steven Jackson's remarks might not come from a genuine place. We've left a clip here of 
of Kwame Brown's response, but please make sure that you check out the full live stream on Kwame Brown's YouTube channel, Kwame Brown Boss Live, which will be in the description box. Steven Jackson seemed to be hating on old Shannon Sharp. Cause my thing is, I've had my back and forth with Shannon Sharp, like I said. I had my little back and forth. He said what he said, I said what I said. But you would be a straight up hater to not recognize that that interview was a good interview. When you are Cat Williams, the top of the top of comedy, you've been around some of everybody. So the stories that he know, just asking them questions and cutting them off wouldn't have been a good look. I know some people said, you know, he should have gave him some pushback. That's not what he do. He was consistent with what he do. And so it was a great interview because now the entire world reacted to this one man's words. All the comedians came out. But I don't agree with what Stephen Jackson said about Shannon Sharp because apparently Stephen Jackson went on there and gave his two cents about Shannon Sharp and what he should have done, which to me, it proves my point of the go along, get along game. Because remember when I said they have to bite that apple, that proverbial apple, meaning they have to tamp it down and do what that, do what's told. Jack, I would never in a million years believe that Jack would take away somebody's right to tell the truth. He, he, you know, he he is hip hop, all the smoke, not some of the smoke. Not, I'm gonna make, make somebody not say something just because I have a relationship with somebody else. So how could it be all the smoke? How can it be real and authentic when you pretty much taking all the credibility out of your show by saying statements like this. We know as long as they talking about somebody you cool with, you gonna stop them. And he's cool with a lot, a lot of people. Every time you see him, he dapping up the who's who of people. So that would mean you can't go and talk about nobody. So this is why y'all don't really get the truth. This is why they have y'all thinking these people are some good, perfect people and all this, cause they just don't talk about the bullshit that they do. Most of them really cowards. Most of them really cry babies. Most of them really scared to stand by themselves. That's why they have 40 niggas with them. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Please make sure that you drop a comment down below and let us know your thoughts on Kwame Brown's response to Stephen Jackson. That's all for today's video. If you found this video insightful, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel if you're not subscribed already and make sure that you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. Just because you're first to do something, that don't mean you the best at it. Listen to me again, chat. Just mm. because you're first, that doesn't mean you're the best. Because a lot of times people think, well, I was first. That don't mean you're the best. Come on now. So Roger Bannister was the first man to break the four-minute mile. Is he the best mile of all time? Absolutely not. Nope. See, I don't get mad. See, animals get mad. Humans get upset. Right. If you think they're upset now, yeah. wait till they see that lineup. I'm, a, I'm about yeah. to start right. rolling start. out. I got yeah. another one. Yeah. I got another one in the in the can, and you guys gonna hate it. You gonna hate it. Wait, oh, hating? Yeah, I'm Hold talking on. to you specifically. I, I, first of all, first of all, you know, like like they ask like who? Half the time I don't be telling you because right. what y'all gonna try to do? Y'all gonna try to go before me. But they they hey, because a lot of times I'll take the same guess you have and do more views with them. Mm. That's what you're mad about. Come on now, get better. Come on, preacher. Right. So from today, what today is? Today is the sixth. I'm done with y'all. No, nah, you I'm can't not, do that. You can't. I'm, do no, that. no, no, no. I'm done. I'm done giving them my energy. I'm not gonna respond to people I, because because I respond to three, four people that have negative things to say when I bypass 400 people that say a good thing because everybody it's nobody. If you notice, it ain't no Joe Rogan taking no shot at me. It ain't no Pat McAfee taking no shot at me. Right. It ain't no Stephen A taking no shot at me. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. When the last time you saw somebody throw a rock down the hill? People throw the rock up the hill. Now, now, when I first got into the podcast, yeah. ain't nobody take no shots at me. Yeah. Because I was under them. You see? Yeah. As oh. I started to rise. I have a question. Would you ever reach out to this individual and just, just have I'm a done. little talk? I'm done. He nope. in this space. I'm in my space. I'm good. I already yeah. know how you feel. Dude, See, nah, you can find a out a lot what? about a person how they feel when they don't think when you're not around. See, don't talk good to my face. See, I need see, Ocho, I don't need you to talk good to my face. I need you to talk good behind my back. Mm. 